So, are you ready to become a podcaster on podcasts? Download the Anchor app. It's the easiest way to do podcasting and it's also free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's easy. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. Hello, hello, good afternoon, my wonderful and lovely kings and queens. I pray everyone is having a blessed and prosperous afternoon. Um, this is my very, very first uh podcast that I'm recording. Um, I'm excited, also nervous, so forgive me for anything that I don't say right or I may fumble over a few words, but as time goes by and as I do more and more podcasts, I know I become better. Amen. All right, let's just get started. Um, like I said, my podcast is basically gonna be talking about how you can heal from pain, um, how you can turn your pain into purpose, how you can turn your pain into happen and joy and be at peace, you know. Um, So many people suffer from depression, uh, suicide thoughts, um, just not loving themselves. And, you know, they just, you know, I know I was a person like this. I was like this for a very, very long time. Uh, For many years, I would say, um, it kind of started out um, when I lost my mom. I lost my mom around 22 years of age. Uh, We were close friends. Uh, We were best friends, actually. And, you know, when I lost her, it just, I felt like a part of me died. You know, I felt like a part of me just couldn't go on and live with life. Um, So that's when all the drinking and and the partying and, and the sex with men and even the sex with women and just more and more pain just piled on top of me until, you know, I just I had suicide thoughts. Uh, I wanted to com- I wanted to just leave. It's many times I tried to commit suicide and stuff I tried to do to myself. I hurt myself a lot of days. Um, but up until this year, you know, I found that God can heal us from all of that pain and hurt and the suicide thoughts. And people would say, well, you know, how can God heal me from all of this right here? You know, some people say there is no God. And some people say, well, if he was God, then why does he allow this to happen? And, you know, some I, at one point I kind of felt like those other people. But I got into a a wonderful group of uh, women. I met a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful person. She's my mentor. Um, she's just she's just heaven sent, y'all. Um, just things that she began to talk with me. It's just like she had just the topics she hit. It just like she had been with me over half of my life, you know. And I know I said this. She has to be heaven sent because. I really didn't know her. I I knew of her, but I didn't know her. I say from a can of paint. But um, she was just heaven sent, and she really, really, really helped me. You know, find my way back to God. And I um, I I just really, really appreciate her. You know, God will send people in our lives to help us. You know, to get us back on track, to get us back on the track to Him. And, you know, you have to be willing and you have to be humble. You know, you have to have a willing spirit. You can't be just like, well, I sit here and listen. And you you can't harden your heart. You know, the Bible says, you know, the day that you hear God's voice, don't harden your heart. You know, don't be so mean and angry and stuff. You know, in order to heal, you just, you got to turn it loose and you got to let it go. You know, and it's and, and trust me, I know it's hard to let go of hurt 
and pain. I've been through a divorce. Um, I was married, been through a divorce. Um, I've been in a senseless relationship, my last relationship, um, my real relationship I had. Um, I was so in love with this man, but we just did not make it. And it was very toxic for me. I just lost myself. I had self-identity problems. I just couldn't recognize myself anymore. And I am just here to tell you that I am so happy and so blessed. And I'm so thankful that I'm happy and that I'm whole and healed. You know, I know who I am. And, oh, my goodness, it's just wonderful. And that's what my podcast is about. It's here to help you find your way and find your way back you know find out who you are you know who you are in god uh is you know that's that's what i want to do i want someone to get to where i am and and go beyond me you know i'm i want to help somebody that's hurt and has pain and they feel like they can't they can't live on they feel like they're not worthy to live they feel like they need to they uh deserve to be treated bad and you don't deserve to be treated bad you deserve to be treated like a king or the queen that you are and you deserve all the happiness and the peace in the world i just want to let somebody know and encourage somebody that you matter you know, you matter. No matter what nobody tells you, you matter. Okay? You are beautiful. You are wonderfully made. You are awesome. You are blessed. You know, and just get up every day, even though you don't feel like it some days. Just get up and look in the mirror and say, I am beautiful. I am awesome. I am blessed. I am gorgeous. I I am a child of the king. I am a good person. You know, these just these are just affirmations, just a few affirmations that you just speak each and every day and and say them every day. And when you look in the mirror, mean what you say. Say what you mean. Mean them. And that's all I have for y'all today. Um, Stay tuned for my next podcast. I pray that each of you have a blessed and safe afternoon. Bye-bye. Good afternoon, my lovely and beautiful kings and queens. Um, I'm coming to you again today with another podcast. Um, Today, I just kind of want to talk about um, self-love. Um, you know what what is self love? Um, how do you love yourself? Um, how do you feel about yourself? Uh, do you love yourself? Um, basically I would say self love is just just loving yourself. You know, loving yourself not to deal with certain type of toxic friendships or toxic relationships or just uh just doing things for yourself it's just if it's just taking yourself out to eat or just um getting a manicure or pedicure or getting your hair done done or just something that you do for yourself and that show that yourself that you love yourself um for a long time I um I look to other people to do these things for me, especially the men that I, that were in my life at the time, um the men that I were dating, the men that I uh that that I was with. Um I always looked to them to love me beyond my faults and I looked to them to love me beyond this. I looked to them to tell me they love me every day, that I look beautiful every day. That I do this and I do that. And I couldn't tell myself any of these things, you know. And I know, I I believe, you know, now that I look back on things, I believe it got kind of aggravating to them, you know. You know, not to be rude, but I, I think it was kind of aggravating. And it became frustrating at times because I needed somebody to tell me that they love me every day. I needed somebody to tell me that. They appreciate me every day. I needed somebody to tell me how beautiful I was or how sexy I look. You know, I couldn't go in the mirror and tell myself these things because I didn't love myself. 
And that kind of gave off a bad vibe, you know, about me because they knew I depended on them for that and many other things. So when you begin to pile stuff on top of a person, they become frustrated at times with it. And, you know, I didn't notice at the time up until now that I'm on my journey with God. And each and every day he reveals things to me. And I'd be like, God, I didn't, I didn't know, you know, I didn't know that about me. You know, maybe they tried to tell me in so many words, but, you know, I thought they were just being me, God. You know, in so many words, they was like, look, tell yourself you, you're beautiful. You got to know you're beautiful. You know, um, that goes with self-confidence. I didn't have any um, self-confidence about myself um, either. I just felt like I was. I was overweight. Um, I wasn't the right color, wasn't the right shape. My hair wasn't this way. My clothes didn't fit right. I just, when I looked at myself in the mirror then, I just did not, I ain't like nothing about myself, even my smile sometimes. I quit smiling because I didn't even like my smile at times. And even when people would give me compliments and say, oh, Candice, you have such a beautiful smile. I'm like, mm, thank you. You know, you and I was like, I depended upon that man or even that woman to tell me, you have a beautiful smile, you know, show your teeth more. I didn't know how to get up in the morning in the mirror and look at myself and say, good morning, queen. How are you? You are very beautiful today. You're very vibrant. Oh, my goodness. You are just a gorgeous person. You are so gorgeous. You know, I didn't know how to get up and tell myself this every day. And at that time, I thought it was kind of weird for me sitting up there talking in the mirror, talking to myself. But now I get up every day and I thank God. You know, I thank God for growth. I thank God for change. And I have no problem getting up in the self and saying, good morning, queen. I say, I'm like, good morning, good morning, queen. How are you today? You are beautiful. You are wonderfully made. Your smile is beautiful. Everything about you is beautiful. You're vibrant. You're just, oh, my goodness, you're just awesome. And I brag on myself. Now, I, I, I take myself on dates I, I, in a minute. I take myself out to eat. I take myself to get a pedicure. I take myself to do this. I take myself shopping. I just I just love on myself. I do something for me. Just not only my kids, but I do it for me. And I don't look for nobody else to do it for me. And the way I look at it, it's just me and God on a date. And I tell God, I say, okay, God, we going, me and you going on a date, you know. And I take him with me. And he's just, y'all, he's the perfect, perfect, perfect gentleman. He pays for my meal and everything. He'll be looking like, well, where did money come from? Thank you, God, as well. He paying for our day. Or he took me shopping. You know, you have to take God with you. You know, you can't depend on somebody else to give you that that affection or give you that love that you want because sometimes they don't have it to give it to themselves. You know, sometimes that person may not think that they're handsome or they're beautiful. So how can they tell you if they don't look in the mirror and tell them to they self, you know? I can't I can't give you something I don't have. And that's something we have to realize. I can't give you what I ain't got. If I ain't got no love, how can I give you love? You know, if, if I ain't got no compliment, uh, compliments or no self-confidence by myself, how can I boost your confidence or give you compliments? Because I'm not telling my own self this. So I just encourage you to just look in the mirror today. And I know it's going to be strange and it may be hard at first. But I want you to look in the mirror and just tell yourself every single day, good morning, queen, or good morning, king. I love you. You are beautiful. You are handsome. You are smart. You are a good person. You're wonderful. You're awesome. You are, you your confidence is high. You are just you are wonderfully made. You are perfect just the way you are. God made you perfect just the way you are. Just get up in the morning and look in the mirror and and just love on yourself. You know, 
You ain't you take yourself on a date sometimes. Um, just go take yourself a walk. One of my um sisters in the group said she just you know she loves nature and she's a nature person. Take yourself a walk in the park or, or if you buy like she say you buy a nearby lake or something. Go, you know, just walk to the lake or something that you enjoy doing. Just go do that for yourself, cause. I have known that is so important. That's very important to have self-love and to love on yourself. If you begin to love on yourself and and your and just begin to just say, "Oh, I just love me." I promise you your self-confidence going to boost, your self-esteem going to boost up. The pressure going to begin to fall off. You ain't going you're not going to be feeling so down and and empty on the inside. You're going to Begin to experience joy and happiness and peace. Well, that's all I have for y'all today. I love you guys, and y'all have a blessed and prosperous day. Until next time, bye-bye.